Okay. Oh, okay. So you look at the teacher and they'll wait and tell everybody once. Right? Okay. I'll eventually turn you guys. <laughs> yeah. So welcome to this month's Nevada County Online meeting. Uh, thanks everybody for showing up. Even though there is the fear of a terrible snowstorm that may drop as much as an inch of snow. <laughs> and you are able to brave the threat of that potentially happening sometime in the next two days. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, we never know. It, it's funny, I'm from Pennsylvania, where it snows a lot more. And it's amazing the mindset, which is a good introduction to Barry, that that the mindset of how you approach the world is so different depending on your background and your community and everything else because, man, I would drive with my brother-in-law in this terrible, huge hunk of a car, rear-wheel drive, fishtailing, and just, what's, that's what you did. You occasionally bounce off a parked car, that's okay. But here it's something that is a little bit different. Anyway, so this is Nevada County Online. We are a community resource meetup where we bring in speakers on a variety of topics, typically around marketing. So we cover topics such as search engine optimization, web design, social media marketing, what else? Pinterest, Etsy. Etsy. Yeah, Pinterest. Um, uh, Getting on TV. TV. Getting yeah. on TV, that was a great yeah. performance. Yeah, very soft. Yeah, just very soft we could go through. So. <laughs> Membership websites, there's a lot of things. Yeah. Please go to nevadacountyonline.com if you want to see past presentations. We've got videos from all those presentations and there's some really gems there. Uh, Barry's presentation today will be online there within a few weeks and that will be a future gem. I'm quite certain about that. Uh, so let's start out the meeting with something that we do called success stories. This is an opportunity for us to share things that we've been working on within our businesses that are working. Anything particularly related to marketing or if you have any questions or obstacles or something in your business that you'd like to share with the group and say, hey, this is something that I'm... Is that... Okay, I thought it was the snow! <laughs> <laughs> Grab the women and children! <laughs> it's actually sound enough. Uh, so let's do some success stories. Please raise your hand if you've got something that's inter exciting, interesting, something that's going well in your business. That you'd like I got to share. something. Uh, I'm just actually, it's actually more of an announcement. I'm giving a workshop. My name is Brenda Horton. It is. Can you bring that up? We look yeah. I'm giving a quick uh, a workshop on uh, Friday, December 4th, and it's for business women here in Nevada County. And um, now is the time to start planning for 2016. So this workshop is going to be focused around uh, kickstarting your business in 2016. Uh, I know you're going to be there. You're going to be there. So anyway, come join me, uh, Brenda Horton, and all the information's on the flyer. There you go. Here you go. And Brenda started this group, so she Hi. was really at home telling us stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thanks. Good. Success stories. What are you guys doing? What's interesting? Hey, Amy, tell them about your editors. That's a... My editor? Your agents. That's a, that's a success. No. Yeah, then you moved on. Yes, Annie. No, no, no. Us, Annie. What I want to say, though, is Barry just turned me on to his wife. Can you just stop that sentence right there? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm here because I can't get, I can't get a time on his calendar. Um, so yeah. That's why I need to learn from him here. But um, he turned me on to Canva and Popular Me. Is that it? Yeah, I'll talk about it. I don't know if you guys know those, but I yeah. love that for, I'm using it online and pretty pronounced. For cats, you're using Canva. Canva for flyers. That's how I used to make that flyer. Yeah, yeah, I love it. So I, I didn't know it. about it, but yeah. it's so easy and quick. Oh, yeah. it's, it's awesome. Yeah, Canva, Canva is like Photoshopping. The A. 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 But Canva's without the S. You know, these young people create these programs and they morph the words just enough yeah. so you yeah. recognize it, but kind of. <laughs> I never in my mind related it to Canvas. That's how my brain works. <laughs> that was what you thought of right away. I never thought of that. <laughs> yeah, no, I made that flyer I passed out, I made that on Canva, and it took me all of literally like 10 minutes to put it together. It was so easy, yeah. and I'm not technically inclined. So, um, I know I'm working on a uh, Sierra County Chamber of Commerce website, and I'm putting captions on photos using Canva. I mean, I use yeah. it for all kinds of stuff. Good, good, thank you. So online tools, Canva, that's yeah. a good success for you. 
What else looks good? One or two more out there. Yeah, please. Hey. Yes. Yeah. 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 How did you find us? Um, well, I popped into an open house and a real estate agent asked me what I did. And I told him what I did. He said, do you know what I'm out county online? And I said, well, I've never heard of that. So he told me about it. And, um, and it's perfect because that's my business. I mean, we moved up here a year ago from the Bay Area. It's a national company. I'm, I'm here, and we build websites for corporations and businesses, um, and things you've heard of. Um, but I'm based here, and my developers are located in the Midwest. We move all the work into the onshore Midwest and build websites. Folks, I've got this. We've already built one website here, uh, Wild and Scenic Film Festival it's a website. My guys put that together for me. And uh, so I just thought I'd just be a good place to meet some people and hopefully share some knowledge that I've gathered over the last 30 some odd years in marketing and advertising around the world. And well, I'm more than happy to share whatever I can. Yeah. Great. Great. Thank you. Join our speakers list. Well, yeah. Excellent. What do you call it? Because Tyler Chikorot was the gentleman that you ran into in that house. He's my business partner. Oh, uh, is that right? And he mentioned, you mentioned I might, that? that you might come. And I'm so glad you made mention of that. Otherwise, that's I would have never connected the dots. Oh, so, awesome. yeah. So that's networking in the back. Yeah. 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 Open yeah. house. <laughs> I have a quick question. What do you build the websites on? What platform? WordPress. WordPress. Warper. Good. So, anybody else want to join in? Yeah. My success, we do, um, our, I'm CEO of Creative Age Leadership, and we run leadership summits, and we're expanding this year. So, we do leadership summits in the form of summer camps, so we're the opposite of online. We check tech at the door, and have three days of being offline, mm -hmm. shooting archery, arts and crafts, and doing some amazing pieces. So, um, we are expanding. I think we're going to do a summer camp in Colorado. So we've got two coming up here in April is Women's Leadership Summit, and in September is going to be a more general population um, in technology. And then Colorado, we're putting it together. It may be uh, we're actually got a lot of leads on doing a video camp, like I think control for a video. Um, is this adults? Yeah. All adults. Only adults. Have to be over 21. Adults who can remember being kids. Yes. And you don't even have to remember how to do it. What's your <laughs> so anyways, camp is called Camp Pause and Success Camp Pass. Camp CAS. So that's our big thing, because I never thought, I thought like years I'm going to be, maybe I'll expand, you know, to other places. And we're going to Colorado, have a chance in New York and Texas for the next year. So. Anybody else? Well, I was going to say, um, yeah, I have a little success story. But so the, you guys might know about the Jazz City Grant um, that was offered to you for startups. So finally, after <laughs> a, lot, a lot of the uh, rigmarole on going to the city, I ended up winning one of the grants. Um, and about it, is it also benefits one of our longtime members here, Matt Bannon, who's my software developer, so I'm developing this, this app. Um, and the other parts, so that's great. It, 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 both of us get to be beneficiaries of this really awesome grant that Hillary has a lot to do with helping getting the word out and connecting a lot of us to this application process and all. Um, another thing is happening that a lot of stuff is I've been coming here for so many years as sort of a quiet observer, sort of observing, uh, uh, absorbing all this different stuff and not, you know, planning my business and trying to figure everything out, and now a few things are starting to happen. Um, I'm, my focus is on energy efficiency for homes, and so this app I've been working on for just self-financing self for a few years, and you know, going really slow, um, now has got the attention of Energy Up in California, which is California's largest incentive program, outreach to homeowners, and so now I've got this partnership with them, and they're going to help me promote the app, which is Exciting. Good. So, uh, just a couple uh, administrative bookkeeping things. So, we do not have a holiday party planned for this year yet. I will say that a big part of that comes on me because 
things have shifted a little bit in the leadership team here, and I started a new job working for Buyer Solar, and I've been very much pouring myself into there. So that said, we're going to do a leadership meeting we were just kind of talking about with Laura, Evelyn, and I for December, and that's going to be open to anybody who wants to have a role within the group. So if you have something to offer that you'd like to be part of the leadership team, great, we definitely can use that. Uh, we'll put that out through Meetup, so just expect to see an email for that. Uh, we will be resetting and ready for next year, having a lot of good speakers, variety of topics coming in. Uh, so no meetup is scheduled for next month for December. And again, I'll put that out through the meetup website as well. So we'll be back at it for the fourth, the third or fourth, it's been a while since I'm out here. Fourth Tuesday fourth of the month. Tuesday. Oh, fourth Tuesday. I thought you said the fourth year. Yes, I was trying yeah. to remember how many years has it been? <laughs> okay, good. Uh, anything else that you want to? Um, well, I, one thing just for people who are local community people, Corian and I um, and others are mentors for the Sierra Business Development Center. And I've just had some amazing clients that have come to me. One of my clients just published her first book in Truckee. And so it, it's a wonderful resource that's out there for people who need help with marketing, with their websites, with almost anything, and the Small Business Administration pays for it. So you get it for free. So that's just something that um, I think it's good for small business people to know it exists. <laughs> the main thing to write down about that is the URL of the website is Sierra S B D C dot com. Sierra S B D C dot com. My advice is that you just get the phone number off that, call up, talk to them, describe your business, and specifically say where you've got weaknesses or you've got obstacles or things. Because the variety of business consulting there really does uh, plan, um, straddle business planning, financial planning, exit plan, marketing, business strategy, leadership, all of these different aspects are in this pool of mentors. So if you call up, you can say, hey, this is something that I'm not doing as well as I could. Do you have a mentor there that would be a good fit? I have one other announcement. Um, there is going to be a meetup on Tuesday um, called Tectonic in Nevada City at the, uh, the new place called... At the Golden Era Saloon. Golden Era, thank you. Yeah, it's co-sponsored yeah. by Sierra Commons. Oh, you guys yeah. hosting it? Okay. I yeah, guess. and John. Yeah, okay. So, um, anyway, in addition oh, to being it's a... Tectonic. It's called Tectonic. Tectonic. Cool yeah. name, yeah. yeah. So, in addition to being a business strategist and mentor to women entrepreneurs here uh, and all over the country, uh, I also am doing a software startup, and the software is a planning and task management tool. And so we're going to be demoing uh, that software that evening. So please come out and join us. It's going to, it's going to be a, it's a great turnout. It's a lot of great people, people who are more in the technology industry. So um, I invite all of you to come join us. Which Tuesday? It's Tuesday. Yes. The 1st. December 1st. Oh, December 1st. And you said in the nighttime, what time is it? It's, what time is the event? Starts at 5.30. Yeah, so yeah, there's some networking, um, and there's a, it's a great cocktail lounge bar. They, they just opened up right there on Broad Street. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and Was so that like Ease? Did they take it? It used to be Serena. Oh, it was Serena. Yeah. Oh, they, I said, no, that's not it. It's called Tech, it's called uh, oh, Golden Era. Era. Oh, Era. I heard it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I was there for their grand opening. It's a beautiful, beautiful ambiance. They did a beautiful job. So there'll be, I, I don't, are you part of the program or do you know if there'll be other people demoing software that night? Or I haven't, I don't think okay. so, yeah. So we'll, we'll be demoing our software, so come join us. Great. Great. Okay, well I'd like to introduce our speaker for today, Mr. Barry Friedman. Uh, as he says, he's a recovering four-time world juggling champion. <laughs> uh, Barry has been a really important part of our business community here at Nevada County Online and he's presented before on how to get your business onto TV and how to create a uh, membership-based website. Today we're going to be talking about the mindset that it takes to be more productive and starting out your week with that Monday mindset so you know how to prioritize which tasks, you know which tasks are going to make you money, which tasks are uh, uh, 
taking away from your energy, let's say. But overall, Barry is a fantastic speaker, and I noticed that there were juggling pins there, which <laughs> yeah. would like made the presentation. Yeah. Um, but let's uh, give it up for Mr. Barry. Hey, All I can think about when I'm standing in the back of a room, and I've done this for 33 years uh, at shows around the world that I performed at, is that Tom Petty song, The Waiting is the Hardest Part. <laughs> it's so incredible. Like, that song is poetry to anyone who's ever been on stage. It's like that. When do we go? Because now it's free and it's fun. Mm -hmm. Back there, the, the demons and the, uh, what are you going to talk about? And now it's just great. So, okay, we're not going to talk, we're not, I'll save the juggling stuff in case it gets too boring or something. <laughs> or if like everyone raises their hand at once and says, we need juggling at this moment, that'll be great. We need juggling. We need juggling. <laughs> Hurry, there's six children. We need juggling. Yeah, no other need juggling. Uh, Good, so I'm excited to be here today. The Monday morning mindset is something I wanted to talk about. It's, to me, it's been game changing in my business and my life. Uh, let me just do a quick rundown here because I always have to get the juggling talk out of the way. I'm one half of the Raspini Brothers for 33 years since 1982. My partner and I, the same guy, we've been traveling around this little pebble of ours doing shows at, starting at Renaissance Festival, then over 200 national television shows, command performance at the White House, OJ Simpson jury, and really for the last 28 years, exclusively at corporate events around the country, sales meetings, uh, award ceremonies, incentive trips, uh, trade shows, just kind of anything where there's corporate people gather around. Some of the nicest resorts in the world, so it's been a nice uh, piece. So over 200 shows, like all that stuff, corporate shows, six TED Talks. I got in on the TED world very early, which was awesome. In 2000, this guy sent me, this is a great, let this, I didn't even plan on talking about this, but let this be a great lesson for everyone to never say no to something right on the phone. This guy called me and said, oh, I run this thing called TED. No one had heard about it. It wasn't on the internet yet in 2000. And, and I said, oh, you only do a couple charity shows a year. I was on the road to doing, what, 100 shows a year at that time. It was crazy. I said, oh, we don't really do many shows unless they're... And he goes, I'm going to FedEx you something, and unless I hear from you, I'll assume you're going to be there. And I was like, boom, powerballs. I was like, who is this guy? I love him. So I just thought that was great. Next morning, FedEx comes in. It was, you know, Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, people talking about things. And the only rules there were at TED were you basically talk about a story you've never told on stage. You'd be vulnerable and talk about your failures. This is a great thing. Google this, the TED Commandments. It's incredible. They send that to every speaker. And it's just a wonderful blueprint for how to give a talk that matters. And you're reading a book, Annie, right? Mm -hmm. Talk Like Ted? Talk Like Ted. Yeah. Really good, really good. Yeah, some insights from TED speakers. Uh, but it was funny, so I went to my first one in 2000 and uh, been invited back six times. It's fantastic. Nice. So, fantastic. And then a couple of TEDx talks. I love those that started up, too, as a, a gateway. Four-time world juggling champion, March 2014. I took a one-year hiatus. So this year I've been touching in on juggling a little bit, but for the most part, uh, working on my other businesses. It's time, 33 years in life. I would head up my driveway to a one hour show in Orlando that paid well, but I would sit in my driveway going, wow, for the next two and a half days, I know every single thing that's gonna happen. And <laughs> that got a little old. So uh, the, the entrepreneur in me wanted to fire life up, see what it was uh, like to chase some other dreams. Uh, that also was triggered in 2007 by a mountain bike accident when I couldn't move my arm for uh, six months. I couldn't feel my fingers and move my, and as a juggler, arms and fingers are so important. <laughs> really big piece of the puzzle. Um, and I was sitting around thinking, reading books, wondering what I was going to do. I asked uh, uh, myself a question, what am I good at? And this woman right here had <laughs> got a laser pointer. <laughs> she had the great answer. She had the great sense, which I've never forgotten. She goes, you're really good at booking a juggling act for a lot of money. And I thought, wow, what a great answer. That led to my first online business called Get More Corporate Gigs, mm -hmm. which led to my 10-week group coaching program I do once a year with entertainers called Showbiz Blueprint. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and these are uh, more and more expensive programs. And then from that program, I bring some entertainers into private coaching for a six-month uh, agreement where we meet twice a month mm -hmm. on the phone and dig in deep and uh, change, change their lives. So that, that's how all that stuff starts, by uh, getting antsy. You know, not wanting to just keep doing the same thing. So, my question today, I imagine we're all here because we have some kind of a thing, you know, be it whatever it is. Uh, I've heard a couple of mentions, business and inspiration software, um, these outdoor wonderful camps, which reminds me of all the stuff I really love doing, and consulting and, you know, everything you guys do. So everyone has some kind of a thing. And for the purpose of today, we'll just refer to it as a thing because, I'd actually, I'd like to spend some time looking at individual uh, challenges and. 
I offer my clients, when we go do shows sometimes, I will give them a bonus, which I love doing anyway, but it's really a wonderful selling piece. I say, what would it be like to bring your management team in and discuss your biggest problems with a four-time world juggling champion? I like, well, don't even have a box to put it in, but in the morning, <laughs> we'll meet at breakfast sometimes and just giving feedback from a whole different perspective. So if we have some time today, I'd love to do that. Um, why are you building your thing? This is the why. You know, what, what's behind your business thing? Where does it come from on the inside? Is it uh, when you have passion, expert, expertise, habit? A lot of us are doing it out of habit. It's what we've always done. And I realized in my driveway that day, going to do a juggling show and make people laugh for an hour and getting paid good money was a habit. You know, hard to believe, but that was the habit I got. Um, building a following, helping others. A lot of these uh, reasons. The why is something that's so important for us to understand about our business. Start with why. I hope everyone in this room has read that book or had, like I have at the TED conference, a chance to hang out with Mr. Simon Sinek, who is such a brilliant dude. He's got wonderful talks online. Uh, he gives great keynotes, all started by talking about this word why in his friend's apartment in New York about uh, 12 years ago now. And uh, he's turned it into quite a, uh, a brand, this whole start with why idea. But what it does is it gives us the extra boost to carry on. In fact, I think I just want to cut to that here. Uh, yeah, the, the why is what keeps us going when we get tired, what keeps us going when we're sick of doing what we're doing. So the why has to be important enough that we are literally shaking. Pulse increases when we think of what our why is, when we channel that, get the picture of it, uh, be it a child, a, a vision, bank account, relationship. Uh, a passion. So, what keeps you guys going in this business? I probably, if I had more time to put this together, I may have put this even before the why, but you know, what is it that keeps you going in your business? Why do you do it? And what is it that, that makes you go? There's some, some on here that uh, 